Right, here we are at the Union Street Urban Orchard, running till 19th of September 2010. It's been going since 19th of June. Let's have a quick look round. Hi, how are you doing? Hello. You alright? Good, thanks. Well, welcome to the orchard. Thank you. Let's have um, a... As you can see, uh, it is an orchard in central London. Um, let me show you around. Um, the idea of this site was to create a community garden that people could use and to also try and demonstrate lots of different things in terms of um, horticulture and permaculture. Um, so we have here a seed bank an exchange program. So here we have lots of different plants that have been donated and given to us uh, to find homes for. Um, a lot of which we grew from seed actually, uh, certainly the vegetables and so forth. And we've been trying to get off uh, rid of them because there's so many. Um, over here, here we have my home, which is the Ark. This is a zero carbon off grid building, uh, if you want to get technical. Uh, but basically, this building, through its lifetime, uh, will not use um, much CO2 uh, at all. Um, it will be equal to that which it's produced. Um, so it's zero carbon. Um, this is my allotment, uh, which is in full glory at the moment. Um, it's also being ravaged by cabbage whites. Um, we try and educate people as best we can about certain things. Um, knowing your food, understanding things like food miles is something that we're trying to get across. Um, we've got some carrots growing in an old recycled tub over there. We've got some fish in the pond as well. And then over here, this is a growing wall. We've got some strawberries growing up there. Um, and if you're lucky, if I don't do too much washing up, there we are. Try that. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, sweet peas, courgettes. Mmm, delicious. Lettuces. Oh, I have to boast a little bit. Yeah, sure. I think that's what the Arsenal fans don't like with maybe um, radishes. <laughs> have those later if, uh, when we're watching the movie. Um, of course, uh, tomato plants. There are a bit of a motley crew of uh, tomatoes in there, but once they ripen up, they're going to make a fantastic. Uh, Accompaniment to my dinner. Herbs and everything in the plant lock. Obviously, that's where our bikes go. Um, over here, we have a uh, installation done by a gentleman called Tom. Uh, he's a young architect, and he wanted to create a space where children could play. The idea of this is rather like Meccano. You can turn it into lots of different bits. At the moment, it's into a children's uh, painting area. Here we have the sheep seed shed, where we uh, we make uh, seed bombs. Seed bombs are something that Richard Reynolds is quite well known for, the Gorilla Gardener. Um, but basically using all these materials you see here, you put them together with a bit of water and obviously seeds, and you create a seed bomb. And you throw the seed bomb and then that will grow, as you can see here. Well, you can't see because actually a child ripped all of these out uh, just a few days ago, which I'm still rather uh, angry about. But anyway, lovely. Um, here are lots of different seeds being displayed. That's not how you keep seeds, but it wasn't purely for an aesthetic uh, part of it. Um, obviously, no Englishman would be complete without a tea shed. Uh, so there we have tea shed. How many different uh, types of fruit tree have you got here? Um, we've got uh, many different varieties. Of, we've got four different types of apple. We've got um, two types of pear. We've got... Uh, cherries, plum, peach, quins. I'm not going to get many quins in this country, but we have quins. And yes, and you can see here, this is one of the cooking apples, how big they are. But they're not ready for picking. Uh, that's something else I have to keep telling children. Um, they'll be ready in September. Anyway, over this way. Here we have somewhere to. Relax. Here we have 
some left too. Swing. More fruit, fruit plums here. Um, Pretty much all these trees are fruit trees, right? Yes, lots of fruit trees. We've also got, um, also down here, we've got, uh, over here, actually. Look at those. Yummy. Yes. Um, table tennis, uh, which is uh, in a skip, obviously, because that's where you would put table tennis table. At the moment, it's aqua table tennis. Um, as you can see, <laughs> it doesn't work very well at the moment, but it's great fun when it's dry. Um, this is the nest. This was uh, actually done by um, uh, the. This was done for the Finnish Institute. Uh, however, unfortunately, it got denied planning, so it ended up here. It's actually looking for a home. Very nice. And uh, over here is the arch. The arch is where we do all our gigs, workshops. We've just had our uh, uh, bike bike powering workshop, uh, um, which basically you, you you pedal a bike and you you can make your own energy via motors and uh, inverters and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Obviously, I didn't attend it. Um, anyway, so that's that, and uh, we're here till September the nineteenth. And um, we have barbecues every Thursday and Friday after Borough Market closes for the community so everyone can just come down here and enjoy it. Uh, we ask everyone comes by public transport because we're living according to the Z Factory philosophy, which is very much about low food miles, uh, 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 public transport, and micro generation. So, Great, uh, so how can people find out more? Is there a website? Yes, go to the unistreetorchard.com. Excellent, thanks very much. Bye.